It doesn't matter where you work. You're going to be blessed there. It doesn't matter. You know what? A lot of people are so scared, they always look at the papers to check the stock prices. You know what you do? Buy cheap, sell high, right? That's basically, buy low, sell high. That's, that's the thing of the market. So now you have to monitor and then find out, right? You're a consultant, financial consultant, right? See, that's basically anything. anything. You get into buy and sell, buy a car cheap, sell it high. So you make money. So now you have to look for all those that are low and will hopefully go up. You know what you do? Just buy, and because you bought, it will go up. See? That's the thing. But the, our, the thing is, we don't believe that. We think we are trapped to follow market forces, economic forces. No, you are the economic force. You are the market force. So you buy somewhere and say, come up in Jesus' name. Watch it. You look what's going to happen. See? That's why, you know what? I think, I think, that for the most part, our country is still a good place. You know why? So many countries are going under. We're still experiencing, what, like 0.3, 0 0.4% economic growth. Really slow, but it's not negative. Some countries are already underwater. We still have growth. Turtle pace, but still growth. In spite of the crisis. You know why? Because you're here. Amen. See? We affect the economy. The economy does not affect us. We have dominion, not the economy. Amen? Amen? That's what this means. And look at this. The Lord will command a blessing on your story. And in all, everyone say all, all, to which you set your hand. In other words, whatever you touch, you have a Midas touch. See? Whatever you touch will prosper. doesn't matter what it is. Whatever you touch will prosper. Some say, well, you know, I'm not gifted in that. I better not do it. No, you are gifted. You can do all things. You may not want to do all things. In the natural, you feel like you're more gifted in one thing over another. Like, I preach better than I sing. See that? I know that. So I have no illusions of taking Arnold's place here. Okay? He sings infinitely better than me. Now, I can sing. I can sing. I know I can. I just did. Made you laugh. Not exactly what I was looking for, you know. <laughs> See, so in that sense, wala akong illusion doon. I don't have any illusions about that. So I stay where I'm strong. I am strong in preaching. So that's where I'll stay. But if I have to lead worship, I will. And I know it will be anointed. See, I know it. Why? All that I set my hand to. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever. The Bible says all. All means all. Blessing number four. The Lord will open to you His good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work, all the work of your hand. See that? You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Now, when it says He will open to you His good treasure, the heavens, to give rain to your land. They needed rain because it was an agricultural nation. So they needed something that was beyond their control, which was rain. And God said, you know what? I'll supply it. Anything that is outside of your natural control, God says, it's done. It's yours. It's yours. Just don't be so quick to give up. That's the thing. Don't be so quick to give up. There are things, remember what I taught? It's not over, even when it's over. It's not. I don't care if they close the books. It's not over until I say it's over. See? Because the end will always glorify our Lord. Always. Always. That's our life. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Borrowing is not a sin. Because if borrowing were a sin then our lending to many nations will cause us or will, we are making, causing them to sin. So borrowing is not a sin. What is wicked, the Bible says, is when you borrow and pay not. Okay? That is wicked. So if you borrow, make sure you pay. But God wants to bless you in such a way that you don't have to borrow anymore. You will be the lender. Why? Because the Bible says that the borrower is servant to the lender. See? So you don't want to be serving and, and enslaved by debt. 
So God is going to, if any of you, if any of us here are under debt right now, let me tell you something. God has set you free. How am I going to be set free? By believing. That's it. Just by believing. Amen? Amen. Finally, number five. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. That means God wants you to lead the head. You are the leader. You are not, you're the one with the insight. You're the one. See, it doesn't mean that you have the highest position. It doesn't mean you, you're, Joseph did not have the highest position. He was only number two in the land. But you know what? Pharaoh listened to him. Pharaoh listened to him. Uh, Daniel was not king in the land. But the king listened to him. Why? He was the head. He was the one. He's the one with the insight. He's the one with the revelation. He's the one that understood the ways and told Israel what to do. The anointing of Issachar. That's what you and I have. That's what it means to be the head. It doesn't mean that you're the boss. If you're not the boss, it doesn't matter. Your influence is not dependent on your position. It's dependent on your revelation of who you are in Christ. People will listen to you when you make sense and that sense works because people see the results of your advice. People see the results of your counsel. When that happens, see, look at this. God loves you so much that He wants to bless you and He has. That love enables us to believe Him. See, if we think God hates us or is not completely in love with us, then He might bless us, but it's not reliable. What if He doesn't bless me today? He did yesterday, but I'm not so sure about today. I'm not so sure about tomorrow. But what He's saying is, no, I'm constant. I change not. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. If I bless you yesterday, I will bless you today. If I met your need yesterday, I will meet your need today. And I will still meet your need tomorrow. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing! To worry about it is well with our souls. Amen? It is well with our souls. Amen. That's what we have in Christ. I want to end by showing you a video clip. And um, this video clip moved me so much. I was so blessed by this. Go ahead. Let's just watch this. nothing that you can do that would make him love you more. There is also nothing you can do that would make him love you less. He loves you because he loves you, 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 because that is what he is like it is his nature to love and you will always be the beloved and his love is unchanging and he loves you a hundred percent he won't love you any better when you become better he loves you a hundred percent right now 
And even if you have 